Now we've covered the introduction to NLP and what it actually is. We're going to cover four of the main, I believe, main things that, that might be a problem in sport. This is not an exhaustive list. There is much, much more. These are just four that I thought may be common in lots of people. So we have self-belief, mental toughness, self-confidence, and optimism. So if we start with self-belief, for those of you who can't see the screen, there's a clip of a poem, and it says, If you think you're beaten, you are. If you think you dare not, you don't. If you like to win, but you think you can't, it's almost certain you won't. Sooner or later, the man who wins is the man who thinks he can. I can't do that. I'll never win. How many times have you thought that? Beliefs are created in childhood. The unconscious mind and the conscious goal must align. If they don't, the unconscious mind always wins. So we need to help you change your unconscious beliefs and your unconscious mind processing so you will achieve your goals. How brilliant does that sound? So if we take, for example, a limiting belief, there were some people who registered for this webinar who said they did not know what a limiting belief was. So if I've taken some examples here and take, turned them around, empowering and limiting. So if we say, for example, it doesn't matter how hard I try, I'll never be able to win. Is a limiting belief? Never? That's an infinitely long time. Never. How about you reframe that thought? I believe I have the ability to win. Sounds much better. Much more empowering. What about it's out of my control? That's pushing the blame outside of yourself. You're on the effect side of the equation right now. To get to the cause side of the equation, I have the mental strength to take on all competitors. And finally, I'm not good enough. I'm not good enough. I've often thought this myself, I must confess, until I found NLP. I'm not good enough. What about I can focus my attention and achieve my goals? Brilliant. Don't just focus on the outcome. Belief is important. Belief is important too. Limiting beliefs limit your performance. This can be changed. We can change it. How brilliant is that? So I want you to consider this for a moment. All things that we do, that we think, are all choice you may find they all end up in positives, even the ones you don't think. So if you ever thought, well, I don't know, I'm not sure, I, I think perhaps part of me thinks that that's possible and part of me doesn't think that's possible, we can take you through a technique and you will, at the end of it, realize that you always want the best for yourself. Your conscious and your unconscious mind always wants the best for you. We will show you how to align those two back and you can achieve your goal. So ask yourself, can you reframe, write down your belief and reframe a um, negative into a positive? That would be a great start. We always ask you, how did you learn to believe that? How does holding on to that limiting belief serve you? It doesn't. Usually, what would happen if you did not believe that? Think of all the things that you would free up for yourself. What would you gain if you let go of this limiting belief? All those extra possibilities. Think of that. What would you gain if you did not let go of this limiting belief? You would be stuck in your problem, running round and round. How does that serve you? Mental toughness. That's the next one. 
So if we think mental toughness, think Mark Cavendish. Think of the New Zealand rugby team when they do their hacker. Confidence and self-belief. Commitment. Resilience, emotional resilience. Total application regardless of the circumstances. Being total control. Achieve your goals. Where are you now? How can you achieve your goals? Clarity. Do you know what the goal is and know how you will get there? How do you create a goal? You need to know your outcome. The five principles for successful goals. Know your outcome. Take action. Don't just talk about it. Have sensory acuity. Be able to get results. Focus on the goal. Tune into your senses. Be flexible in your behavior. Be able to maintain focus and adapt in order to get to your goal. Kids can adapt. We seem to stop adapting quite as much when we get into adulthood. If you're not getting what you want, then do something else. And lastly, operate from a psychology of excellence. Excellence. Everything needs to be aligned for you to achieve your goal. Determination, focus, control under pressure, confidence, and you will achieve that goal. Courage, to stand firm, no fear, no fear of rejection, success. So consider this. What would happen if you learnt a technique that enabled you to replace an unwanted thought with a more useful positive emotion? What would happen if you learnt how to interrupt negative thoughts and negative voices in your mind and replace them with positive? The personal awareness and ability to block, replace and reframe all your thoughts. Emotional, conscious and unconscious level all possible go back to look at this diagram for a second self confidence like i said before all thoughts actions and outcomes are all connected thought action outcome an external event your filter you internally represent it that creates behavior so you're at the mercy of your thoughts and emotions. If you've got a weak self-belief, then you will have less confidence. Confidence, thoughts and emotions are very closely linked. So confidence can have more effect on a behavior than behavior can have on confidence. In this instance, you can't pretend quite as well. You need to be confident in order for your behavior to change. We can change your confidence. That will change your behavior. Consider this. Imagine you could be taught a way to manage and interrupt patterns of behavior and thinking in yourself and create a new, even more positive you. Imagine if you could learn how to create and anchor confidence in yourself. Imagine if you could learn relaxation techniques that would enable you to relax the body and the mind. Performance, results, manager, team, equipment, opponent, training, competition, they're all important. If in doubt, fake it to create it. Your unconscious doesn't know what's real and what's not real. So if you're not feeling confident, fake it. Fake it. Your unco unconscious mind doesn't know what's real and what's not real. But what if we could teach you how to be confident all the time? Your unconscious mind is non-judgmental. So if you could anchor it, and recreate it on demand, how fantastic would that be?